Swan waterfront had a great floating bouncy castle for people to jump onto. Unfortunately, there were a few side issues when other people were already on the inflatable. Next, we went out to feed the wild fish in Darwin Harbour. Fortunately, there wasn't anything longer than a metre. The next day saw the start of the bus tour. One of the first stops was to check out the termite mounds. The magnetic termites build them aligned north-south, while the other species builds these fantastic stalagmites. It's incredible something so small can build such large structures. We had an introduction to Aboriginal bushcraft and culture. One of our bloodwood trees. We make did you do out of them. Oh. Lips, tongue and voice. Fire sticks. And everyone had a go at Aboriginal art. It was easy to tell the authentic version compared with mine. The evening dinner cruise on the Catherine River was a highlight. The leisurely cruise started an open river and headed up into the gorge. The amazing thing about the gorge is that it's made up of a series of fractures in the rock, which means that every corner is at 90 degrees as you zigzag up river. We went as far as you could go on the boats, and went for a bit of a walk to see the rock art. And then onto another boat in time for the dinner course while the sun set, which as you can see was pretty amazing. As it became dark, the insects made intricate patterns in the spotlights, making for enigmatic photos. The next day, we checked out some of the scenery used from Crocodile Dundee, including a brief walk up Gunwa de Wa de Lookout. This was similar to the movie, except I was pretty sure the main character was Tuatara Dundee. Cam, our tour guide, made a point of explaining the Aboriginal art and we had good opportunity to check everything out. We also stopped for swims in a few of the billabongs and they provided welcome relief from the 30 degree temperatures. I think I let it slip that it was Bernie's 90th birthday. He wasn't impressed. <laughs> Our final night was glamping at the Wilderness Lodge. These permanent tents were a lot like the MASH 4077 7th unit. While it was really luxurious, it was remote with access only by dirt road or air. Just watch out for the runway markers as they're very solid termite mounds. What trip to the Northern Territory would be complete without crocodiles?
We started off with captive ones in Darwin, where people could swim with crocodiles with a thin layer of protection. But, as we headed out into the National Park, we encountered the wild ones. Later that night, at the Wilderness Lodge, I was chatting to some of the local workers who were fishing for barramundi at the Billabong, when one of them had a rare catch. I can't believe I fucking caught the thing. That's absolutely bizarre. 